My song for you this morning is not to make you sad. In the Thomas Darcy McGee Summer School, we have taken on something of the role, the ancient role of the Tarman. Here between the mountains and the sea, between historic Ulster and the Pale, there is a place where people can meet away from conflict and speak their mind to each other in safety. And thank you so much to Louth County Council for the support for something that is so important, not just for the town of Carlingford, but all of us who want to discuss uh, these issues. And that's why it's such a huge honour for me uh, to officially open this summer school. And this is where McGee's views on nationality, on immigration, on minority rights appear most relevant to the future. Look, there are current political difficulties in Northern Ireland. Um, where are we? Uh, the peace process is, is, is largely um, in place, yes. In the Belfast Good Friday Agreement, words like parity of esteem, which came from that. But that dialogue helped to start other dialogues. There's huge potential for healing to occur around our commons. And our commons are the land, the water and the air. The much greater need for spending on pensions and healthcare. It's going to be a rising old age dependency ratio. This is going to be combined with much less tax receipts from employment because there's going to be less people working as a percentage of the population. And I thought it was very interesting what Brona, Brona Hines said earlier on is that many things make up our identity. It's not one thing. You can't just put us into one box. You can't put us all into one box due to one criteria. I'd like to be able to say the Gaelic Ogham. I'd like to be able to say that it's part of who I am. It's part of my identity. And we can go back to the ancient Celtic church and we can find a common identity there and all those things. But I think that is a secret. I told myself, people here talk to you. This is the place you can, you can feel at home. Because in reality, and as Joel also said, we all want the same things. We want a better life for ourselves, for our children. And if you put people into a room and you give them the space to have that conversation, you will find that we have a lot more in common than we have apart. Now, to be respected, to have, like, to, to have an underpinning of a human rights approach to everybody, regardless of where they're from. And that, that, I think, is what we're actually struggling with. Sometimes it's how we're communicating our own outcomes. Just because I maybe don't support a certain thing doesn't mean that there's no value to be taken out of those conversations. And young people seem to agree. Young people like experimenting with the idea of you're in charge of designing a country from scratch. Mm -hmm. How do you do it? That's a, that's a really interesting thought experiment, and it's one that I think people want to play with.